Today, Fox Chase will be presenting awards and scholarships to recognize the outstanding contribution of our nurses. They join a proud tradition of nurses who, through their individual contributions, have made a difference in the lives of their patients, their peers, and their profession. It is their collective wisdom and compassion and caring that we come here today to honor and to celebrate. These individuals and their contributions are inspirational examples of nurses making a difference every day at Fox Chase. I am delighted to stand here before you today as we recognize the recipient of our Nurses Week 2010 Lifetime Achievement Award. The nurse we honor today chose us. She has shaped the environment here where nurses practice, students learn, and patients receive health care with her goal always being to inspire those around her to reach for excellence. She drives initiatives to increase the quality of care, improve the work environment, and advance the profession of nursing, such as the decision to earn the prestigious magnet designation in 2000. At this time, I'd like to welcome Dr. Seiden to the podium to open the envelope, please. Great institutions are built on the skills, commitment, and leadership of individuals. And in certain instances in history, that leadership can come at sort of critical moments uh, where an individual stood out and did something unusual. But great institutions are really built on the backs of leaders who sustain year after year the highest levels of excellence. And I am delighted uh, to announce that the Lifetime Achievement Award recognizes Joanne Hamilton. I just want to say I'm not done yet. The lifetime's not over, so thank you very much. So I'm delighted to share with you the nominees for this year award. The first nominee is Joni Brooks. Our next nominee is Deb Donahue. Our next nominee is Kathy Emhart. Next nominee is Crystal Graykoff. Our next nominee is Lynn Engel from One South. Our next nominee is Trissa Morrell. Our next nominee is Danielle Pacini from Three South. Next nominee is Jane Skolnick from our pre-surgical unit. And our final nominee is Terry Webb. Crystal Greco. Flo Margolis was a patient at Fox Chase Cancer Center who lost her battle to lung cancer. Her husband, Alan, and his family requested memorials that be made in her honor to be sent to Fox Chase Cancer Center. Mr. Margolis wanted to pay tribute to the nurses at Fox Chase with the memorial funds from his friends, business associates, and family. Anita Ellis, Flo's sister, would like to say a few words today on behalf of the Margolis family. My sister was a loving, happy person. We found out that she had friends accumulated from first grade, and when she died, they all came forward. I know, having been in her room, that the nurses also knew it, and they would come in. Of course, to get into my sister's room, you had to take a ticket like in the bakery, because <laughs> she was always full. But she loved the nurses, and she was happy, and they loved her, I could see. And so to those who are in this most noble profession, I hope that your patients in the future will be as loving and as happy as my sister was. This year, the winner of the Flo Margolis Nursing Education Scholarship is Christine Amoroso. This award is in memory of Dr. Timothy Talbot, the first president of our cancer center. The award recipients are based on professional development and recognition for their contribution to the Department of Nursing. These awards enable nurses to attend prestigious national nursing conferences in the specialty. And this year we have two award recipients. First, we'd like to welcome Cliff Spear. And our other award recipient is uh, Kathleen Lear, the 2010 Magnet Moment Award is being given this year to recognize a staff nurse who demonstrates 360 degrees of excellence. Those who nominated a peer did so based on the following criteria. That the individual demonstrates actions as a positive role model for excellence in nursing practice. 
He or she serves as an advocate for patients. They show exemplary interpersonal communication skills in team interactions and adheres to the nursing code of ethics. The 2010 Magnet Moment Award goes to Celeste Schiller. I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Saul Sagan. I know so many of you and there's a very special bond. I'm honored to be able to celebrate this very happy and wonderful event. I'm one of your success stories and I wish you many more. I know that um, the dedication that is shown by your nursing staff can be felt by the patients and many articles that have been written will often say that the attitude of the provider and the perception of that attitude by the patient can go a long way toward augmenting and enhancing the, the extent of recovery. I think when it comes to that department, Fox Chase nurses are second to none. I may be a little prejudiced, but I have a feeling I'm right about that. So with a lot of thanks and a lot of love, I would like to just suggest to you that the next time you're in the mood to observe a pièce de résistance, a tour de force, una obra de arte, in plain English, a work of art, you don't have to go downtown to the museums, you don't have to go to Smithsonian, you don't have to go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. All you have to do is just take a stroll over to the nearest mirror and take a good long look and you will see one of God's most beautiful gifts to his children. I love you all. Thank you so much. Our next presenter will be Fran McAdams, Director of Infusion Room and CRU. The preceptors that are being recognized, first Jennifer Bronsar, Susan Burke, Catherine Dawes, Crystal Greco, Kristen Hand, Amanda Jackson, Bonnie Langston, Barbara Stewart, Janet Stockton, Cliff Spear, and Laura Timcho. Congratulations to everybody. Um, our last presenter will be Janice Moore, Clinical Coordinator of Medical Oncology. Um, at this time, we just want to recognize the most valuable players for the year. Ray Fonseca, Lisa Ludwig of 3 North, Ki Na at Pre-Op, Sardana Willis, Infusion Room, and Selena Williams, Surgical Step Down. Thank you for all that you've done this past year. We'd like to recognize recent graduates of advanced degrees. <laughs> Terry Inamorato. Immaculata University, Marie Real, Temple University, Yolanda Reynolds, Immaculata University. Next, we'd like to recognize those who have given 20 years of service. Margie Kearns, Terry McGowan, Linda Regal, Anne Slivjack, and Kathy Smith. We'd like to thank you for attending the 2010 Nurses Award Ceremony.